Welcome to support videos for Control M. In this video, we'll see how we can upgrade and roll back an agent in Control M919 using the command line. So let's get started and take a look at what we'll be doing in the configuration manager. As you can see, we have the usual agent deployment wizard open here with our example agent, agent two, its version 918, and what we can go to. In this case, we'll be doing the same thing as we would in the CCM by the command line that is going from 918 to 919. So let's close this and move to the command line. We already have our CTM application installed. And let's look at the help for the CTM provision command first. As you can see, it displays there if you need to look at stuff. Our first command is going to be upgrades versions get and this is going to show us what's available on the em server that we can apply in this case you can see we have agent upgrade 919 and the app pack 919 100. let's also take a look at what agents we can upgrade and we'll just make a slight change to the command we're going to run here and put in agents get this will tell us what agents we have available and what we can apply to them. We can see our agent two here, it's Windows 64-bit, and we have our version of 918, and we can go to 919. We can also see the app pack available below, but we'll be doing the, the first one this time. So moving on, let's uh, go ahead and clear the screen and start our upgrade process. So CTM provision, upgrade, and then install. We need the control M server, which is case sensitive in this case. The agent name, which is agent two, as we saw earlier. The type of upgrade, which in this case is agent. And uh, this is in the help if, you're, if you need assistance with it. Yeah, app pack is also an option. The version we're going to, the full version, you'll see 919.000, and then just a friendly name for the upgrade. The, this is the same that you would put into the, the CCM. Now you can see we've run it and we've got our upgrade ID back, which we'll just copy because we'll use that in a moment. So that's very good. It's running at this point. Let's go ahead and see what we can do to take a look at the status of this. And if we run upgrades get, that's going to give us all the upgrades that are currently running. As you can see, we've only got one. And it gives us the status, what it's doing, the timings, and the percentage. So we could run it again, and it would give us assume a higher percentage. So let's clear the screen again. And uh, this time, we're going to go ahead and get the log for this upgrade. So you can see we're going to get the upgrade output. And this is where we want our reference. And we're going to go ahead and direct this to a, a text file because there's quite a lot of output. You can run it without the right angle bracket to put the output to the screen. There we go, it's, it's finished. Let's go ahead and browse the file system for the file. And there it is, upgrade.txt. We'll open it with a text editor and you can see, there it is right there. Scrolling down. All right, so that's all of the log and this may be helpful with troubleshooting or if you uh, need the log for anything. So let's go ahead and uh, run the downgrade this time. We're actually just going to make a few changes to our command. It's going to be uninstall, and then I'm just going to update the name we're using. We get another upgrade ID back here. This time it's number four. And it's going to downgrade the agent from 19 to 18 again. Let's take a look at that. And we run our upgrades get. And you can actually see we've got both three and four there, the most recent at the top. We can see that our rollback did complete successfully and the timings. Thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this video. I hope you found it useful. You'll find more videos like this 
on our YouTube channel.